This video will explain how to create a web service in Microsoft Azure that can be linked to from an Excel file so that you can create predictions from Excel. In this example, I have a body fat prediction experiment where I have already figured out which input variables are necessary to be able to predict percent body fat in a multiple linear regression experiment. You can see here that I bring my data file in, select the columns, in select columns, not all of the columns are needed. So I do need my outcome variable, and these are the columns that I've determined are helpful as predictor variables. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to make the setup of the experiment easier now that I've already done all of my selection and determination of which columns I'm going to need. I'm going to go into the source file and reduce the things by eliminating things that I don't need. So here's my source file and Here's my output variable and then my input variables that I still need are listed in white. And so I'm going to remove these unneeded input variables. And then I'll save it as a CSV file. All right, what that lets me do then is it allows me to upload this leaner file. You can see I've already uploaded one here before. So I'm going to up, just upload it again. So here's my file that I'll upload. Just the input variables needed and the output variable. All right. Now I no longer need this. I don't this has too many variables in it. And so now I'm going to eliminate this and I don't need a column selection pill in there and I'll bring in my reduced data file and link it right up to split data. Alright so just to make sure everything still runs I'm going to run the experiment again. Now the experiment has completed and I'm able to evaluate the model and so it tells me you know what my mean absolute error and so forth are and it is also able to score the data set. So this was my percent body fat, which was my outcome variable I used for training. And then this is our scored labels, which is its predicted percent body fat. So everything is predicting well, and we're ready to go and proceed to the next step of our experiment. Now we go down to set up web service, and we select predictive web service recommended. Now you'll notice when we do this that it has now split this experiment into two pieces. There's the original training experiment which is still there. So it's still there and then we have the second part of the experiment which now has been simplified. The experiment no longer needs the variable selection, the data splitting, or the training. All of that has already been accomplished. We just basically have a web service for input, a web service for output, and we have the same data file in that we have before. We need to just do a little bit of preparation so that as we run data through that we don't end up with more stuff on the output side than we need. The easy way to do this is to include a select columns pill Now this file right here that is our data file is really not going to be run through our web service. It really is holding the role as sort of a template. In a sense it's got the column names and the data types that are needed to be fed in from the web service. Now the web, the web service will do is it will be embedded inside an Excel file and the actual input variables with the same column names will actually be sitting in Excel. So what will happen is this web service will go grab the input data out of Excel. It will take that through the, the trained model and it will score the new predictions and then we will eliminate all variables, all input variables and just put the output variable out. Why? Because the input data is going to be pulled in by the web service right out of the Excel file. So they'll therefore we'll be able to take the input data in the Excel file, it's going to be sitting in the Excel file, 
and we'll be able to add the output prediction uh, to the same Excel file. By selecting columns from the data set, all we really need to do in this step is to just select the outcome variable. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take these scored labels and put that in the output. So basically that is our outcome variable. Alright, so now just to make sure everything will still run, let's run this. Alright, it looks like the experiment was able to run through successfully. Alright, so now we have it set up so that we can go ahead and deploy the web service. So now that the web service is working, we can deploy it as a web service. At this point, it gives us a couple of things. One, it tells us there's an API key, uh, and it's also hooking up a web location where this web service can be called from. And what we're going to do now is we're going to download this Excel file and save it locally. And then what will happen is embedded in that web file will be links up to the server where the web service is hosted and also the API key that will allow us to be able to go call that web service. So now it says I'm going to bring some of the data over so we can sort of use it to get started and yeah we want to be able to do that. Alright and so now it's saving our file that has the web service in it. Now this Excel file that has the embedded web service linkage in it will run in Excel for Windows but will not run in Excel for Mac.